my kids. I'm Gabe. And I'm Tori. And it's time for Kids Life TV. We are so pumped to be with you today. If this is your first time tuning into Kids Life TV, welcome. We're so happy you're joining us for part two on how to grow your faith. Our faith grows when we read and hear God's Word, the Bible. Today, we will hear what happens when we speak God's Word. We can't wait to tell you more. So, let's get geared up. First, get your hands ready. If you have something in your hands, put it down. You're going to need your arms. Next, get your body ready. Wake it up, run in place, or do some jumping jacks. All right. Get your voice ready. We want you to join us in praise and sing out loud wherever you are. Let everyone hear you and do the motions with us. Ready, set, let's, let's praise. praise. Hey kids, are you ready to learn this week's power words? This first time, watch me. God's word is in my mouth and in my mind and in my heart so that I can do it. Deuteronomy 3014. This time, repeat after me. God's word is in my mouth and in my mind and in my heart so that I can do it. Deuteronomy 30, 14. Now, let's say it all together. If you're ready, say let's go. God's word is in my mouth and in my mind and in my heart so that I can do it. Deuteronomy 30, 14. You rock, Summit Kids. God's Spirit led Jesus into the desert. He had nothing to eat for 40 days and nights. After that, Jesus was very hungry. Knowing that Jesus was hungry, the devil tempted him. He pointed to a rock and said, 
If you are the Son of God, tell these rocks to become bread. Jesus answered the devil using God's words from the Bible. It's not just bread that keeps people alive, he said. Their lives also depend on what God says. Next, the devil took Jesus to the top of the temple. If you are the Son of God, jump off. The scriptures say that God's angels will rescue you. So Jesus used God's word to give his second answer. Do not put the Lord your God to the test, he said, quoting again from the Bible. Finally, the devil took Jesus to a mountain and showed him all the world's kingdoms and wealth. This can be yours, he said, if you bow down and worship me. Go away, Satan, Jesus commanded. Then he quoted God's word one more time. For it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. As soon as Jesus said it, the devil left him. Then angels came and cared for him. Jesus had faced temptation and hadn't sinned, not even once. Hi kids, I'm Mary Tony. What an amazing Bible story. Jesus used God's Word to overcome every challenge that he was faced with from the devil. God's Word were in Jesus' mouth, in his mind, and in his heart. Three times Jesus was tempted, and every time Jesus spoke God's Word until the devil left. You can do the same thing. When you are tempted to do something wrong or you are facing a challenge, all you have to do is speak God's Word. And that is our main point today. I speak God's Word. Say it with me. I speak God's Word. What does it look like to speak God's Word? Every time you hear a Bible verse here in Kids Life TV, Take the time to say it over and over again. You can say it while you're having breakfast in the morning or walking your dog or even riding your bike. Every time you say a Bible verse, your faith will grow stronger. And that is how you put God's Word into your mouth, your mind, and into your heart. At this time, take a moment to pause this video and go over the questions on your screen. Hey kids, I'm back, and this time I have a squirt gun. Squirt guns are so much fun. You can squirt at people or targets or almost anything. Look, whoa, what's happening? It's not working. I'm pulling the trigger, but nothing is happening. What's the problem? Oh, I know. I need to put water inside of it for it to work. You know what? This reminds me of how faith works. God's word, it's like the water and our mouths are just like this squirt gun. When we speak God's word, his power comes out just like when I squirt this gun. And his power can change our lives. For example, maybe you've been wanting to share with your friend about Jesus, but you're nervous. Speaking Bible verses about courage and boldness will make your faith grow and you will be able to do it because you will have God's Word and God's power inside of you. Remember our Bible story from earlier? The devil tempted Jesus three times to sin, but because Jesus knew and spoke God's Word, the devil had to go. And with God's word in your mouth, in your mind, and in your heart, you can win the battle against sin every single time too. We had such an amazing day. We sang out that praise song, learned our power words, and that main point was on point. You got that right. Let's go over our main point one more time. I speak God's word. When someone asks you what you've learned today, you can tell them, I speak God's word. 
There is going to be a prayer on the screen, and we would really love for you to pray this with your family or whoever you're with. We also want to give you the opportunity to invite Jesus into your heart. If you've never done that before, today can be your day. And if you do, make sure to tell your parents. Thanks for joining us today. It was so much fun spending time with you. Be sure to share Kids Life TV with your friends, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.